there's um there's a thing there. <laughs> Amazing thing is, I might have to stay up here. <laughs> this foot here, a little bit wet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. In that grass. It's a little, little stump. Another live show. Everybody. Oh, live. We are live. Uh, show 88. No, so, no. show 99. It's 79. Show 79. What was 88 on the screen for? That's in the future. Oh, it's in the future. Hey. I thought that was today. Uh, I can't see any of your comments because we have the same problem as usual. YouTube Studio, unfortunately, there's no link there to the live stream. Not that I can see, so Marriage is going to have a little play about. Try and find it. Try to find it for a couple of minutes. It's not there. So if you're on Facebook, welcome. If you're on YouTube, welcome. Good to see you. And what I'll try and do is uh, log in and see what's going on. And then I might be able to actually talk to you. You never know. It's possible. Show 79, Ron. Oh, I got the countdown typer. Typer? I got the countdown typer on Facebook. There we go. So I can see the live show on Facebook. Um quite dark in here. I uh, can't really afford the electric, you see, because we bought another Canon C100 Mark II uh, for filming. So we've had to cut down on the electric. So it is what it is. You've got to do what you do. We can't buy new desks. Well, second-hand desks and second-hand Canon C100 Mark IIs. Um, yeah, you can't keep buying. You found it yet, Mario? Oh, electric's on. Mario's paid the meter. That's good. You found it, Mario, yeah, on the old live stream. It's confusing, isn't it? They didn't make it easy. But if you're on, then don't forget to mention where you're from. I can't see any of your comments. Where you're from, uh, what wheel you've got. Counter's doing well, isn't it? It's all, it's all booting up. It's all getting there. Oh, have you found it? They get in. Brilliant. Where'd you go for that? The old studio. Ah, you got onto the old studio, so it wouldn't let me. It said we now we've now changed from the classic studio, Creative Studio Classic, to the modern one. Brilliant. 
There we go. Right, I can see it now. So we've got a few people on. Just need to get the screen the right size. No, that's not happening. There we go. Good old Google. Can't really see it all because it's cutting the corner of the screen off. Right, good morning. It's from, It's been repaired. Welcome. Patrick's on. Hello, Richmond Hill, Ontario, Canada, V10F. Um, hello all. Dark mode. Yep, dark mode. Yep, that's the one. Hi, Ian Robinson. How you doing? Um, Google is really, really messing YouTube up. Really, really messing it up. You cannot scroll through the comments. Can't do anything. Um, hi, Ian Z10. And you've ridden 120 miles. That's not bad. Hi, Amy on Facebook. Hello from Colorado, USA, KS... 14S, done 800 miles on that bad boy, and a 18XL weighed on 1,000 miles. Jens, Gothenburg, Sweden, KS18XL, and two in motion V8s, about 6,000 kilometers across the wheels. Uh, Fod Rocks, hi. Ian Williams, MSX, 100 volts, 6,500 kilometers in motion V8, 2,230 kilometers. An MSX 100 volt plus 220 watt hours, 683 from Berkshire. Ross Kellen, hi Ian. There's a mouse or a rat in the in the cupboard. Oh no, it's Mario. What are you doing? What? I don't know what's going on. Ah, brilliant. Uh, right. Oh, just I'm gonna look there. I got a tab open with Indian dishes. Tasty. Fancy an Indian now. Uh, received first wheel today, 9bot E+. Plus. Congratulations on your first wheel. Are you the customer that rung up with a broken handle? Is that the one? They don't make them anymore. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? A bit sad. Scroll doesn't work. Why have they disabled scroll? Why would you do that? It's incredible. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the V8F unboxing and range test video we did. Go and check that out. And unbelievably, in a spate of action, today an M10 3 review went, video went up. And that's only taken two years to produce. So go and look at that. You can also see the M10 3 on our website. If you go to speedyfeet.co.uk, you will see the M10 3 there and the video is in there. And you see the reviews. So the last review on the M10 3, so have a look. Um, on the February the 26th, ah, the little M10 3, so I'll read it out. February the 26th, little M10 3, just comparing to the size of other wheels show how far things have come. To be able to pack the power and range that other, much larger wheels provide into such a tiny package is incredible. The nice wide wheel really helps out when you need to push it into a little bit of off-road if you have to. It works better than my 14-inch King Song in that respect, though be sure you mind bumps or rocks because this thing will react to them perhaps more than you expect. It's really just a learning experience, though a fun one at that, to adjust to just how different this wheel handles. For a while you might swear that it sometimes wants to do its own thing and you just have to obey it, but it's more so just you needing to crack some of your habits to reflect on the smaller wheel diameter. One thing I really like about this wheel is the ability to go very, very slow too. That might sound strange, but sometimes I want to go walking speed when approaching someone or even ride next to someone that is walking. This thing can literally go to a crawl and you can easily be in full control during it. Not to mention, this slow speed means that hairpin turnarounds in the space of a sidewalk is incredibly simple. No one is bluffing. This wheel really is something everyone should own in their collection. And that was Marty. Not Marty Be Back Backy. Becky? 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 Becky. Marty Backy. This was another Marty. Um, so, yeah. Good little review. It's nice when people leave lengthy reviews because if you're reading them and you're thinking again on the wheel, check out the stars, click on those and read the reviews. You can kind of get a rounded opinion as well as our honest reviews that we do. So, yes, where am I? Oh, <clears throat> that's me. Devil's arrive, but lots of fun. Um, so, merchandise. Yeah, we got merch, haven't we? We got merch. We got merch coming out of our ears. Not literally, it'd be painful, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm wearing merch. Oh, Mark, come here. Mark, come and show the uh, show the masses what you're wearing. Very good. So, yeah, I can see it on there. Yeah, yeah. very good. And then in front, yeah, you've got the 
logo there. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it says Speedy Feet. So. Excellent. That's the main thing. Um, let's have another look. How do I? Oh, here we go. Whoa, now it's zoomed in loads. I hate this new YouTube. As you might be able to tell, merch is there. I've just tagged it in. Um, hello there, big fan. Steve from Mass, USA. Wondering, do you ship to USA? We ship worldwide. Do not fear. We ship worldwide. Hi from Cheltenham. Gotway M10-3. About 300 metres on it since Monday. 300 metres. Cheltenham. 300 metres. Very good. Nothing. nothing wrong with 300 metres. Nothing wrong with 300 metres, Mario. Calm down. No. James. Cheers, Ian and Mario. 100 volt MSX, 300 miles. Nicola plus 450 miles. Pennsylvania, US of A. Quite a few people from the US of A, haven't we? Cheltenham, by the way, is very close to us. So we've got Gloucester. Yeah. Gloucester. Cheltenham. Cheltenham. Yeah. Cheltenham. Cheltenham. There we go. Um, that's what we got going on. So that's how we were, they were both very, very close. Uh, okay. So if you haven't, I'm trying to try and find out those links to the old. Uh, let me find. I'm going to find it now. Boom. So the VAF is up for pre order. If you wanted to go and have a look at the VAF, I will get a link for it. Uh, it is up for pre order. Boom. Of course, it's pre order. Bear that in mind. VAF pre order here. With two-year warranty, actual two-year warranty, not a pretend one. Uh, hello from Poland, in motion V10F and a V5F plus. That's Norbert. Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. So you've got the V5. Let's just leave out the pluses. V5, V8, and V10. And a V12 coming at some point this year. Don't know anything about it, but I just know it's called the V12. So the lineup is quite... Especially as they all look very, very similar, just getting larger and larger. They should do a 10 inch, shouldn't they? Like the Gotway M103. Mario's trying not to cough. Mario's brought a cold into the office. Um, I've got a, a thing on the wall that I wrote down the great Mario cold, and it's, I've made up like a sign with posts and grass growing up by it. And that was the 10th <coughs> of February, wasn't it? And everyone's been ill since. So I'll have your thoughts, please, in the comment section. Is it polite to come into work when you've got a stinking cold and then give it to everybody else, especially when they've got small children. Do you think that's polite or do you think that's just really rude? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, Mario can review it. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, hi everyone, Farm Bay UK, In Motion V8, still love it, and Gotway and Nicola Plus, which you didn't get from Speedy Feet, because Speedy Feet don't sell it. They're rubbish. Wouldn't go there. They are lame. Now we'll have all that in at some point. We got the MS Pro coming in. Uh, they're not doing the 84 volt anymore, 1600 watt hours. They've stopped all the MSXs, so they've replaced it with the MS Pro. True story. Because we tried to reorder them as well as the MS Pros, and they said, we well, can't order those anymore because we don't do them. I said, okay, what versions do you do? And they said, well, we do the MS Pro. 100 volt, 800 watt hour. I think they might do a lesser ba battery version as well, but. Yeah, that's all they do. So, um, yeah, right. Uh, Mario, fill me in. Uh, you've done no news again, have you? Second week in a row. Just checking. Because people will be asking me, says, Mario, no news this week. And I'll go, no, it's really weird because Mario didn't do it last week either. He's He's been pushing out less videos and we're doing less news. It's almost like you're doing less stuff. But <coughs> bringing in colds. Was that sympathy cough? Yeah. Was it? You know, <laughs> Um, so, what have we got? Silence. What we've got is silence. So, that's good. So, he's left me hanging there. So Three viewers videos. Three viewers videos. A winner. A winner. We're all winners, if you ride wheels. A video from Russia. A video from Russia. And a couple of M103 snippets. And a couple of M103 snippets. What, like, stuff that we've done? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Should we play those now? Should we play the M10 3 stuff? Yeah. That sounds interesting. The, the cat one or the... Oh, don't give it away. Let's do the cat one. We run over a cat with M10. We don't really run over it, do we? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Would you like to stand on the wheel? No, because we need you to be in the show. 
So if you just come and sniff the wheel, that's it. Oh, there we are, lovely. And then we do this, and then you'll buy the wheel. So, oh, sorry, hit in the face. Never mind. Yeah, you'll be right. Yeah. Do whatever you want, can't you? Yeah. See ya. What? Do you steal the cat? <laughs> yeah, why not? Bruce will like her. Yeah, that would be the end of that cat. What? There you go. There's a cat and a M103, which you don't always see that every day. So that was an exciting video. He just popped along to have a look. Ideally, I wanted it to stand on the wheel, but wouldn't do it because it wasn't it would not comply. No matter how many times I hit it in the face. Um, so wear a mask if you're sick and going to work, like the Asians do. Why didn't you wear a mask? I don't think he's saying that only Asians can wear masks. I think he's saying they, when they're ill, wear masks to stop the spread of diseases. Coughs and sneezes spread diseases. Yeah, I've just seen a tab again with Indian food on it. I'm really hungry again now. Um, coughs and sneezes spread diseases. 1945. Allegedly. Should we have a look? You ready for this? This exciting episode of Coughs and Sneezes Spread Disease. You may have met a few people who like doing this sort of thing. They're a nuisance, I agree, but pretty harmless. You have certainly seen thousands like this. They're not a nuisance, they're a real danger. Hi, stop it, you. Stop it, stop it. Come here, what do you think you're up to? You've probably infected thousands of people already. What do you think this is for? He doesn't know. Yes, that's all right, but here's another way of using your handkerchief. Now well, sneeze. We have to be trained on how to use a handkerchief. Come on. All right, never mind. Close your eyes. Pepper. Pepper spray of you. Someone like him. Now, handkerchief. Sneeze. <coughs> sneeze, handkerchief. <coughs> Got it? Fine. <coughs> Understand? This is for Mario, hey, boy. <laughs> See what I mean? So, there you go. The idea. You got the idea? He's got the idea. Yeah, there we go. That's Mario's fault. We came and came onto that topic. So, always use a handkerchief. Um, there you go. And we actually had to be trained in the UK to do that. A bit worrying, isn't it? To make an actual video on and then put it on TV to train people how to sneeze into a handkerchief. Do people use handkerchiefs or do they use tissues? Uh, David Campbell is online, South London, Kingsong 18XL, 350 odd miles. 350 odd miles. Like peculiar things happening. Um, wear a mask and watch the shop empty. Hey, if you want to push into the queues, put the mask up and go. <laughs> People pour out the way. You can get what you like then. So, hello from Canada, Ottawa Wheeler. Hello. What wheel have you got? We know where you're from, but what wheel are you riding? In your, you've got a little mm, logo on there. I can't really tell. It's so tiny, that logo, so I can't tell what wheel that is. Can I tell? No, I can't click on it either, so I can't even make that bigger, which is a shame. Um, so you've got some viewers' videos, Mary, you say? Should we announce the winner of the £25 store credit at speedyfeet.co.uk? Yeah. Let's do that. Who is it? Doors videos.
Very good. Enjoyed that. I was listening to it. So there we are. Is that noisy on the thing? There we go. Right, let's put that there. Good that is. I can listen to that now. You see, and I've got a screen there. It's all set up. Oh, it's plush mind. It's plush around here. Uh, we have got Dell Meek C, high on it, late MCM5, Swanscombe, 376 miles on his MCM5. Did a two minute video of my first attempts on the nine bot, but it turned out upside down. Strange. You should be able to rotate it depending on your um, editing software. You should take that video and just turn it around. So you should be fine. I would have thought. Ottawa Wheeler, Nicola 21700. That's what he's riding from. He's from Canada as well. Anyone else from Canada? Yeah. Um, so with that, I don't know what editing software you're using, but you should be able to flip that video around, job done, and then you can send it in. But it's two minutes I noticed you had. So, oh, what's going on? Phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, hi. All right, yeah, I'm just doing a live show at the moment. Oh, hi, you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Yeah. No, you didn't know I was live. Yeah, same time every week. Always the same. Always the same every week, Wednesdays, uh, about 4.30ish. You're very handsome, aren't you? I'm, but yeah, extremely handsome. I will see you later then. All right then. Okay, love you, yeah, and strong, muscular. Bye, bye, yeah, yeah. Nice be alive. Bye, bye, see ya. Yeah, there we go. Got rid of that. So, end that call. Job done. Um, so, with your two minute video, make it down to one minute because you're only allowed to send in a one minute video. Uh, hola from Mexico, Mexico, <clears throat> MSX 2007 kilometers. We have got some people, we should, you see, theoretically, with this show going on for so long now, the mileages should start jumping up into incredible mileages, shouldn't they? Theoretically. So I started riding about 2014, I think. It might have been late 2013, but 2014, and then... I should be on night. I should be coming into a show. If someone else is doing the show, we could actually come in and say, oh, I've done 25,000 kilometers, whatever. That's what we should be seeing. So over a long period of time, next year, we should see people come into this show saying, I've done 10,000 kilometers, done 15,000 kilometers. Because we're, well, we were kind of at the early stages of this whole concept being seeded out. And now more and more riders are coming in. Like EUC Roadrunner, who has just joined the show. Welcome. Hello from Germany. KS16X, 2550 kilometers. A uh, uh, Guten, Guten uh, Abend. Guten Abend. Uh, wie heißt du? So we got KS16X, 2550 kilometers. KS16, KS18XL, I'll get it right in a minute, 3400 kilometers. M103 with 80 kilometers. And a 9 bot C with 250 kilometers. Congratulations and for all those wheels and welcome to the show. So combined, you've done three, six, you've done about 7,000 kilometers on those wheels. See what I mean? 7,000. Ottawa Wheeler from Canada. I am looking at the Monster 84 volt 2400 watt hour or 100 volt 1845 watt hour. I can't find anywhere comparing which one will give me a better range. I am 230 pounds. Hey Siri, 230 pounds in stone. 230 pounds 16 stones. Hmm. Uh, well, basically, you get more out of the 240, uh, but depending on what speed you're going, don't know. You'd need to compare it at exactly the same speed, wouldn't you? That's what you'd need to do. Um, but don't forget, we did the 1,000 miler on the 2,400, so we did these very expensive wall trophies. Uh, we did 1,080 miles on these, and we were doing, I think, about 100 and something miles a day. 105, was it? 105 on average miles a day. It's, ah, my elbow. Stupid big table. Um, yeah, so those worked really well, and I was getting, but we were pretty much gunning it, and we were carrying 15 kilograms on big rucksacks. So we were getting, what was I getting? 50 miles, 55 miles each before we had to charge. So, But these were absolutely spot on. Amazing. They don't do those colours anymore. We have got 100 volt versions in. Um, yeah. We have got 100 volt versions in, in these colours still. So if you want them, you'll have to grab them. Well, they're hot. They're brand new. They don't make those casings anymore, the shells in those colours. It's literally the black carbon fibre now. Um, we no longer have the 84 volt uh, versions in. They're only in um, carbon fibre. We've got those in stock. Um, but yeah, I also... Uh, oh, hold on. 
Norbert, I've been riding since 2016 and done 7,300 kilometers on a V5F plus and 5,600 kilometers on a V10F so far. So if you just joined, I was talking earlier about the fact that these mileages that you guys are announcing, theoretically should go up significantly as the years keep going when we do these shows. So it'd be interesting to go back to the original shows, but I don't think I started doing a, it wasn't initially shout out who you are, what wheel you've got and where you're from and how many miles you've done. I'm not sure when I started doing that, but it was quite a while ago. So we should start seeing, it'd be great when we get to 50,000. I've done 50,000 kilometers on my whatever wheel it is. It's like a big pool of people that are testing all these wheels to see what the longevity of them is over mileage and time. Because lithium ion batteries, you're fighting against the time element as well. So if you've got a lithium ion battery and didn't use it, but kept it charged, doing proper cycles on it, discharging and charging it a few times, just to keep it in the healthy spectrum, you're against time anyway. It's gonna deteriorate just sat there. So you're better off just using your wheel, charging it, going for it. I mean, are you really gonna have that same wheel in five years time? You might do. I've got wheels that I had, but I don't really ride them. So they're more trophies like these things. They're just sat there. And they've got the batteries in them. They're not stripped out or anything weird. Um, do I dare? Will this go mental if I turn it on? It might do. Let's try. This could be funny. There we go, that still works. That hasn't been switched on probably a year. Front light still works. Oh, you beauty. Oh, you beauty. One wheel, one way. If you haven't watched the series, it's on our YouTube channel, go watch it. It's all very handheld and stuff, it's just me and John filming, but if you haven't watched that series, go to day one. BBC were here, they did a little interview with us and off we went and did a thousand and eighty odd miles. Brilliant fun through five countries. And da -da -da -da. hi all, Davastato is here from Italy with 16X, 18, 1800 kilometers, 16S with 1300 kilometers and a 14M, 500 kilometers. But now my soon Luca drive that, my son I presume you mean. Um, Devastato, you may want to watch the competition winner segment of this show if you just joined us. EUC runner, road runner, also had a KS16C with two and a half thousand kilometers on it, which is sold. Wow, okay. Uh, Patrick, Ottawa Wheeler, new Gotway MSP will have good talk for heavy riders. Yes, it will. But will it have the range for a heavy rider? Hello from Canada, another person, Bear Life. Magic hand. Lovely mug. Look at that, look at that mug, look, see? Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at it. Where does it come from, Mario? Which pottery? Ian. It's not Ian pottery, is it? It is not Ian pottery. Great name, though. Yeah. It comes from Ian Robinson, and he is called... Dragonfly. He remembered. But he, Dragonfly what? Limited. Is it? It's a limited company, is it? You are butchering his name there. You are butchering that. Shame. Um, where are we? Hello from Canada. I didn't. I didn't finish reading. This is Bear Life. Hello from Canada. King Song 16S, 16X, 18XL, and a Gotway Monster V300 volt. See, the trouble with rolling these wheels is the fact that it's owning these wheels. Uh, unless you're cheapskate like Mario, who borrows the wheel and rides it around. So. Um, but most people have multiple wheels. As you can see there, it's a nice spread, 16S, 16X, 18XL, and a Monster. What a spread that is, that is brilliant. Congratulations, good choice of a selection of wheels there. EUC Roadrunner started in October 2018, so nearly, how many zeros is that? 10,000 kilometers in one and a half years. I think that's 10,000, not 100,000, it must be 10,000 kilometers. Anyone else can jump up, and don't make it up, because that's just sad how many kilometers you've ridden. If you say one million, you're a liar. Um, hello from West Virginia, United States. Just got a refurb 9.1 E plus a couple of days ago and begun the learning process. Congratulations on joining the community. Welcome aboard. Uh, if I start at top of a mountain with full charge, do I need to worry about overcharge from regen going down long hill? Uh, potentially, yes. How are you going to get up to the top of the mountain? You're going to, someone's going to drop you off in a helicopter or car or motorbike or use another wheel and carry that wheel up the mountain. Ski lift. 
toboggan. Someone pushing it. Um, teleportation hasn't been invented yet. Uh, but yeah, potentially you do. But the 9 one E Plus, I can never remember it tilting me back when it is overcharged. That's a modern thing. So, don't know. It's a long time ago I've done that. I live on the top. He lives on the top of the mountain. I live on top of the mountain. That's a unique situation. Um, ride it around a little bit first. Round your house. <laughs> like that. Go round and round and round. See, in my mind, I've got this mountain. It's like that. And his house is teetering on the top of it. And I'm concerned you're going to fall off the edge of the mountain by riding around your house. But I'm sure you don't mean that. Um, set, set the picture for me. What does it look like? Have you got a town that's sort of situated high up? Is that what we're talking about here? Because you can't have a house teetering on the edge. That would just be nonsense, wouldn't it? Uh, Ross Kellen, about 100 meter, I reckon. That's meters, not miles. That's how far he has gone on his 9 one e so far. But you are learning. And you've got another person learning as well. So there's a couple of people here have just got their wheels. So that's pretty good. George has just got his. Ross Kellen has just got his. Uh, anyone else? I think we've got two new riders on here today. Which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I think so. I think it's two new riders. Well, welcome aboard. Um, viewers videos. How many have we got? Mario 3, is that not it? Mm. Shall we play the viewers videos? Yep. Yep. Very decisive. Let's do that. Viewers videos. Boom, there you go. That is the viewers' videos. If you, oh, look at that, that's gone wrong as well. That one's working. This is working as well, that's good. Um, just trying to get the counter to actually work. Um, so done. That's working. Now Instagram's not working. Why is it? It is working now. There we go, Instagram's working. Got it working, Mary. Don't worry. Everyone just calm down. All right, it's all sorted. That's now working. 1,113 followers on Instagram. Mario, what is our Instagram thing, tag thing? 
Speedy underscore feet, is it? Yeah. Go and follow us on Instagram. Check out the description. Check out the description below. Is that what you were doing? No. no. Towards the, towards the monitor, and what do you want me to look to at? See the mug. To see the mug that I've now moved, yes, covertly so that no one knew that yes. it was covering the exactly. thing. Got it. Cool, it's done smooth. that. <laughs> Very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. It's good. Uh, you wait next week. The Facebook counter won't be working properly again, so I got to do it every single week. The last time I tried to adjust it and make it work, it took the whole show down. So we haven't done it since and left it at zero. Um, but it's now working again. So how many people have got on Facebook? Let's just skip along here. Uh, naught again. Always says naught. Uh, what does this one say? Facebook fans. 2,511. That is trailing behind almost 10,000 on our YouTube channel, isn't it? Mm. It's because people, sensible people don't use Facebook. We do. That says a lot. Mm. Sorry, you're actually chatting to me. There's people here, isn't there? Um, I love my Nicola, but I am six foot three. Good. I thought it was six inches at the moment for a moment. Tall guy. Want to have a long ride and sit sometimes. That is the main reason I want a monster. Yes. So the seat on the monster is here. See? So I just... Mm, yeah. There's not one on that one, is there? Oh, here we go. I have a beautiful assistant. She's coming now to... All the blokes now listening on their audio have now started to look at their phones. They're at work and they're listening to the audio, which several of you do. I've said beautiful assistant, here she comes now. You've all gone, oh, shoot, let's have a look. Because you, there we are. But it was Mario, and she's not a she. Well, she's a very hairy she, if it, she is a she. Yeah. But you never know nowadays, could be, could be gender fluid. Uh, right, here we go. There we are, there's a seat there. That seat has done 1, 000, at least 1,080 miles. It's actually done every one. Just put it back, Mario, it's fine. Don't. He's, 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 he's upset now because we've wrecked the studio. And that's been sat, mm, that's wrong. That's been sat there for goodness knows how long, sat on top of here. That's wrong, that's not happened. I've got that wrong. Help, sorted, job done. And if you want the hooks, you can get them from BAQ, DIY.com. Beautiful, Mary. Lovely, love it. Absolutely love it. So the monster, perfect for sitting down. We could not have done that 1,080 mile, well, I suppose you could, but you'd be seriously injured after it. I got enough problems in my lower back from doing that trip um, as it is. So having to be forced, when we did our first one on nine bot E's doing an average speed of eight miles an hour, unbelievable, but that is true because that's all you could do back then. We went from, it took three days to go 200 and something miles and we modified them. If you haven't seen that, it's on our YouTube channel. It's a mental trip, has to be said, because we modified the nine bots, had batteries stuck on the outside. Man, oh man, how things have changed. Um, but yes, go and view that. But we couldn't sit down. It was quite tiring, to be fair, because we were up for like 12 or 13 hours a day. That was stupid. And I have had lower back problems since our 1,000 miler on these was sitting down. It comes from shifting your legs around. Uh, it comes from the knee. So I'm pretty sure it's a knee problem that plays up my lower back, which is a bit annoying. But you don't have to worry about that unless you stood on it for about 10 hours a day, um, which is the problem we had. So as long as you're not stood still on a wheel for 10 hours a day for two weeks, you'll be all right. Got my wheel on Monday and I've ridden 300 meters around the kitchen. That is a massive kitchen. 300 meters. That's huge. If I went around my house, there'd be only like 25 meters. Wow. Send pictures of your 300 meter kitchen. I am intrigued. Uh, Ross Kellen, the kitchen is my playground as well, hanging onto the cooker and the backs of chairs. Chairs are good, especially wheel office chairs. You can wheel them around, learn to ride. How have you heard what King Song has new coming out? They will need to react to Gotway MSP. Possibly. I haven't heard though. Graham Buchan, I live on top of a hill. My MSX 100 volt started heavy tilt back after going downhill on full charge now she feels a bit unsteady any advice no it will do that anyway uh, it will tilt back so that will might just be you thinking it's unsteady that can be a mental thing when you think oh my goodness I don't trust this wheel anymore and you start feeling like it's misbehaving but if you're on full charge and you go downhill it will tilt back the modern machines do that they do do that uh, and that in fact is how john smashed up my brand new ks18 xl and then he had to buy it off me. That's the story behind that one. So he came out of my house, it was fully charged. He went right, went 100 meters, turned left and went down a sharp downhill. 
and we were gunning it down this hill and then it went, be careful or whatever it does. What's it do? I don't know, whatever it does. It tilts right back. Oh my goodness. And he got a wobble on and then fell over backwards, fell off it backwards. Ugh. Um, so then the good thing is I sold a wheel. The sad thing is I was actually enjoying riding the KS18 XL, but it's the wheel that John's been riding till this day. He's done thousands of kilometers on it. Any seats for the MSX on stock, Ian? Have we run out, have we? Brilliant. Mario's shrugging his shoulders, I'm shrugging his shoulders, and if we don't know, then we're at a loss, really, aren't we? Uh, have we really run out? I'm gonna check now. It's, it is, it is, so ordering is not, and the cycles of ordering during winter period is nowhere near like summer. It basically goes all off. And most of our stuff that we got in, um, is running low, so it wouldn't surprise me for it. But oh no, I'm slowing the whole internet now. I'm gonna slow the whole show down. This is Ronnie's fault. If the show goes down, it's Ronnie's fault. Should we go with that? Like it's good, always good to blame someone else rather than yourself, because then you feel exonerated, don't you? Should we, Should we play another video? No, we just bore people. I'll just talk rather than showing something. I'll just talk people through what I'm doing. Now looking at speedyfeet.co.uk. If you haven't gone there. Go to speedyfeet.co.uk because apparently I've been told it's the best website ever for electric unicycles. Mm. That's what my mum said. I mean, that's what our customer said. Not my mum. Did I say mum? Um, unicycles. Let's have another look. So I'm going to look for seat. S E A T. I can spell. Uh, probably says out of stock. Isn't it? Sold out. Yeah, sold out. They've gone. That's good, good stock control, good stock management, running out of stuff so people can't buy it and then there's no revenue and then cash flow dries up and then shut the doors, that's, um, that's good. Right, Ronnie, I will add them to the order. We have got an order building up for them, by the way. I was talking about it earlier if you've just joined in um, because we couldn't get the 84 volt, 1600 watt hour MSX because they don't do it anymore. So we'll be getting the MS Pros in. I'm not sure what to call them. I wanna call it an MSX Pro, but we can't. Mario did, Mario named it the MSX Pro, didn't you, in the first video, you had to go back and re-edit the title to say M Super Pro. Now everyone's calling it the MS Pro. Yeah, but MSP is minimum selling price, isn't it? Minimum seller price? The sounds wrong, MSP. Mm. Minimum selling price. And they're stopping the MSX. So they're stopping the MSX, free. exactly. So the name will be free. The name will be free. MSX Pro. MSA, M Super X Pro. I'm, that's what I'm calling it. I don't care. I'm going to call it that. I haven't listed it as that though. I'm not brave enough to go out on my own and lay the ground. Um, let's have another look. Um, Lars! He's in. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry I'm late. Remember Lars? Yeah. Can you remember him? Yeah. He sticks in your mind, doesn't he? Why? Oh, because he got you arrested. Brilliant. I live on a hill also and don't charge more than 95%. So John... Walden, I believe, it just says John W here, lives on a hill, everyone lives on hills. So we've worked out that everyone that owns a unicycle, they all live on hills, including myself, as I just described the story of John when he went down a hill and came off, because I live on top of a hill as well. So we, the demographic is, we're all around about 35 plus, apart from Mario, 35 plus, uh, disposable income, and we all live on hills. Good. That's the demographic. Yeah, I don't live on a hill, don't have disposable income. Mario doesn't live on a hill. Doesn't have disposable income. And I'm under 35. And he's under 35. So he's outside demographic. The only reason he has a wheel is because he works here. But it's enriched your life, hasn't it? Yeah. No end. So, yeah. Um, what do you think of this doing 60 kilometer ride to work one way when the weather is good? 60 kilometer ride to work. Hey Siri. 60 kilometers in miles. 48. 48, I'm going with 48. 37. 37.28 miles. Oof. 37.28, so if you're doing 15 miles every hour, on average, then it's gonna take uh, two and a half hours. Two and a quarter hours. Hmm. If you're committed, not to a mental institution, but if you're committed to doing the ride, then you could do it, you could. Uh, Ross Kellen, guess what? He lives on a hill as well. Cornwall, well, Hilly County. Cornwall, but that's coastal. So if you're down by the beach, you can't be living on a hill. I did uh, geography and the uh, other things involving rocks. 
geology. That's it. So I know. I know that. I know you can't be on a hill if you're on the coast. Hello, still around but missing the show last few weeks due to work. That's Ivan Cullis. That is not good enough. Work should come second to this show. That is a general rule. We all know that. Everyone else here has sacrificed their work life to listen to this show because it's full of helpful content. There's no sarcasm, no joking around, and news is always up to date. But we don't really do the news anymore because Mario has got a cold that he brought into work um, selfishly. Lars says, well, I drive faster than 15 miles. Hey, the volume's up on my Mac. Shall I mute it? Well, I drive faster than 15 miles. Probably would do it in one hour, 30 minutes. These 37.2 miles, so an hour and a half. How long would it take you in a car? How long would it take you in a car? Are you, Where did you get arrested? It was a busy city environment he arrested you in when you went there. It was, wasn't it, Connie? It wasn't really rural, was it? Yeah, it was town. It was town. So you're not going to be able to go very fast in a car. You could probably go fast on a wheel. Go to work, Lars, on your wheel. Go on, do it. And then, then report back. Run a little diary. Send it across. Send it as a viewer's video. You might win 25 quid for your effort. Job done. Epson Rise, 47 years old. Guess where he lives? On a hill. On a hill. Exactly right. Charged to between 80 to 95 percent, and to 100 percent every 10 charges. Doesn't Mario live at the top of a building? I was thinking that when I said it. I didn't say anything. It's like a hill. Tell him to ride down the stairs. Thoughts. You got to go to A and E. Yeah, probably. Who's going to take you there? I don't know. You don't know. Well, think that through before you do it. <laughs> then try it. Report back, and then you can send a solicitor's letter to him to say that he told you to. At least I get a new helmet. You get a new helmet, yeah, from yeah. Carly. Carly helmets. Go and check them out on speedyfeet.co.uk. You definitely need one. Great value. I will create a nice video of it. Lars is going to create a video of it. Buy car, it'll be 45 minutes. So he's going to add on an hour. What did he say? An hour and 30. So you're adding on another 45 minutes. But it's worth it because you're riding a wheel. If it's nice weather, like you say. Yeah. If it's nice weather, then do it. I'm going to start riding to work again when it's nice weather. At the moment, I bomb through the forest. And doing that in this weather is awful. Especially when they've been logging. Because you will stay on the wheel about 10% of the time. And come in covered in mud. And you'll be soaking wet. And actually, Bruce isn't fast enough. So when I, my most enjoyable riding is to be able to go faster than Bruce. So he'll go fast for a certain period of time. Then he has a set pace that he will not break out of because that's what they're sort of bred to do. So he just, once he's done about eight miles, he just sticks to it. He will not go above it or slow down. He just completely, he's in the zone, as it were. Uh, Richmond Hill, does that count? Well, I don't know Richmond Hill, so I'm going to go and look him up, see who he is. Let's look at his... Uh, LinkedIn profile. Ah, oh dear. Richmond Hill is five degrees C there currently. Uh, wind is coming up from a westerly direction at 14 miles per hour. What's the wind here? Not that type of wind. Come on now. Let's not be silly. Six degrees here. So similar. And the wind speed is... Why is it not showing wind speed? It always shows wind speed. You have to wait. I have to wait, sorry. Impatience. Patience is a virtue. Seldom eight. in a mat. Eight miles an hour. 14 miles an hour. Boom. So you can take a kite out. We can't. 59% uh, humidity. Richmond Hill. That's all I know about it. Um, City of Canada. I don't know anything else about it. So I don't know if it counts or not. But looks like a nice area. Is it a hill? Is it a hill? Uh, is, is Richmond Hill a hill? Uh, Richmond Hill... Is it a hill? Come on, Google. Come on, Google. Is it a hill? Elevation, 233 meters. 764 foot. Over what period of... Like, from the coast to the hill. No idea. Thanks, Mary. You are... I mean, this is ridiculous. You're supposed to know everything. Um... Just have another look. Richmond Hill, we don't know. Uh, Lars says, but the weather now is just beep. So he's he can't ride in the weather now, but he will make a video of it. So Lars is going to ride to work. It's going to take him an hour and a half because he goes faster than he can run at, which means he will get broken bones, as we all know. So it's not advisable. Work. But if he doesn't get arrested and he doesn't break his bones, 
he will film his journey for this show. He's committed to it because it says it above here. And it's in writing. We all know contractually binding once you put it in writing. It's there. Um, and so he's going to do a video on it. He's going to edit it to a professional standard and submit it. And we'll have like a five minute special. So he's going to do a car journey, which takes 45 minutes. He'll do a quick overview of that and then film his unicycle journey. Quick overview of that. Um, are you joining Electric Games in June? <coughs> Shh. It's a live show. <clears throat> uh, not planning to. Where is it? Where's the Electric Games? Is it back in America? In France. France. Oui. Mm -hmm. Bonjour. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Uh, could do. We could ride there. No, let's not do that. Let's go on the train or plane. We can't go on the plane because we can't take the wheels because they're bigger than 100 watt hours. Post the wheels out to the event. Ah, someone will have wheels we can borrow and break. Camper van. Camper van. Drive over there. You're paying for fuel. Are you coming? Or are you just going to pay the fuel for me to go? <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. You think about it. Good man. Um, Electric Games will be at the peak of Corona, by all accounts. Sweet. So June is the time to go. It will be like 28 days later. But hello. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, if I break my bones, I will ride until I die. Uh, hmm. Well, if I do a car journey, the police will stop me for sure because I don't have my license. Could do a train video. You could do, yes. You can use a monster from me. I'm not having anything to do with the wheels that you put on offer because last time he went, he got arrested for Electric Games event. Although I will take you up on that offer of the monster if I do come. But then a monster for the games is a bit big, isn't it? If I want to win anything. What do I win? Do I win prizes? Is there prizes? Points mean prizes. I know that much from game show. Because yeah. what they always shout out, don't they? What do well, points well, mean? Well, Lars won from the Winter Games. Did he win the Winter Games, did he? Yeah. What did you win? That's your font of knowledge goes from that point. You know he won something, but you don't know what he won. So you re started reading it, you went, well, he won something, that's all it counts. Let's not read what it was. Lars, what did you win? Was it money? Because if it's money, I'm going. If it's a lot of money, I'm going. If it's 100 quid, I'm not going. Well, it won't be pounds. It'd be, what do they use? Euros. That's, that currency is taking a dive. Euros, isn't it? Um, tell you what would be really nice at those events is the MSX Pro. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? With those short little circuits, all that torque. That would be a winner. You can use KS16X, Monster 100 volt, or Monster 84 volt, or the MCM5. Hmm. KS16X, probably. That's probably what I'd pick. Try pronunciation of my very common Scottish surname, Ian. Uh, yeah, well, I murder everyone's surname. That's the whole point. That's the joke. I mean, like Lars Barst, I don't know, and Marty Back, and his Backy, and who else? I mean, I, I'm intentionally go out of my way to murder people's languages and names. Um, <sighs> Lars wrote, and it's hidden the comment. It says, message hell for review. I won, beep, prizes. S-H-I-T-T-Y, prizes. Uh, he won a sleeping bag, a light, and a foldable seat. Yes, so if you're going camping, that would be really good. Perhaps they think you're going to be homeless soon. <laughs> that is a possibility, isn't it? That might be prophetic, might not it? Perhaps he's going to be homeless and just have his wheel and those items that he won. But he does say it's a very good event, so that's good. Uh, try pronouncing my very Scottish surname, Ian. It's Buchan, phonetically, and you murder each week. It's Graham Buchan. Now I know that, Graham Buchan. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a MS Pro either, sadly. What have you? What are you, what are you pointing at? You got something to play, have you? Yeah. The well, let's play. It's Fifty-seven M minutes in. M, M, M Super Pro video. M Super Pro video. Oh yes. Let's. Whoa! This. This is a funny video. Where's my headphones? I'm gonna watch this bad boy. And don't go to their website. Go to speedyfeet.co.uk. But the video's brilliant. Bye. <laughs> Эй, Аквамен, там им Супер Про приехал. Давай обзор делать. Супер Про? Вот это что ли?
Да я уже его им хвост и в гриву! That it? Brilliant. You went five, you'll count down from five, and then it just stopped. <laughs> what are you smiling at me for? Oh, you were doing that? Well, I was watching the show. I can't see, I can't see that, can I? Myra's doing a countdown. He's like, yeah, you got five seconds, and then he's like, boom, it's done. It's like, is it? Oh, brilliant. Uh, right, where are we? Um, so, Graham is saying, oh, Burkhan. Buckan, not Bukan. I give up. Buckan. Is that right? Buckan. Graham Buckan. I think that's right. <laughs> rhymes with F U C. Uh, Buck. Yeah, that rhymes. Good. Uh, quick, right, let's go back up. Uh, MSX, so Jeff is in the house with an MX a bit late to the show. But you, like you say, you normally miss the live shows, but you're here uh, with two minutes left of the show. MSX. 100 volt, 200 miles, V10F with 600 miles. Welcome to the show. Ross Kellen, that Kuji got to win a prize for falling off at Electric Games. Won't buy a second-hand wheel from him. Uh, greetings from Eastern EU. Quick question regarding warranty unit wheels. Is it 12 or 24 months? We do 24 months. The manufacturer is six months on the battery, 12 months on the wheel, but we do 24 months. Um, uh, let's have another look. The MSP was heavily modified, so don't try this at home. Yes, uh, if that is not obvious to you, don't get your brand new MS Pro, climb off a jetty, lower it into the water, climb onto it and turn it on and then ride out of it because when you turn it on, you kill all the fish. Um, and that is the show. Have we got another video? Is that it? That's it? Yeah. Yes. We'll end with that one. Ah, good. Lovely. Right, so that is the video done and that is the show done. It's gone really, really quickly this week. Um, WK says thanks. Uh, no problem. I'm going to type something. Tappity tap. Uh, so have a good week all. Don't forget to send in your viewers' videos. You need to send them in, your viewers' videos. We've got three. Need another seven to make a next competition. Um, and congratulations to the winner. Devastato. Um, and I'll see you next week when it's going to be sunnier. Thank you very much all. I'll see you next week. Enjoy. Twist it. Back off.